All right, let's get started. I'm going to fill this box with a radial stripe and maybe add some effects to it. So the first thing I want to do is get my pin tool and I'm going to go into key line. I'm going to start from that center of my box. That's what I'm going to fill and I'm just going to go up and I want it to be something that once I step this around the circle diameter of it will be larger than our box here. So now that we've got our stroke, I'm going to set it to fill with none so it's, it is just a stroke so that we can see it a little easier. Now I'm going to do copy and then paste in front because we're going to take this line and move it and we are then going to create a shape with it. So under edit we're going to do copy then we're going to do paste in front. So now we have two sitting right on top of each other. I'm going to get my rotation tool. Now if you hold the option key down, it'll change the cursor to have this little minus symbol. With that, holding the option key, we're going to click on the anchor that's right in the very center. Now it's telling it to rotate from that point rather than it would typically rotate from the center of the object, which would be right about in there. We're going to rotate this 12 degrees. You can rotate it any amount you want. Just remember what amount you rotate, and then on the next step, we're going to double that amount. So I'm going to rotate it 12. Then once I make it into a pie shape, I'm going to rotate it 24. But you could do 6 or whatever. 6 will be a smaller. 12 will be a little bit bigger. We're going to do 12. I'm going to hit OK. Now I've got two lines. The one that I originally drew, the one I copy pasted in front, and I rotated it 12 degrees get the pin tool, scoot this down, hover over this till I get my little line saying hey we're going to continue our path, come over here till I get my close symbol. Now we have almost a completed shape because it's closed up here but actually it's not closed down there. A quick way to close it is just to go into our pathfinder and click on unite. Now we have a closed shape. So we are going to fill this now with black rather than have a stroke it'll be a little easier to see. Let's get that out of the way. We're going to do the same thing again with copy paste in front. This time I'll do quick keys. Command C for copy, Command F for paste in front. Now I have two sitting right on top of each other. We are going to get our rotation tool which I did just R selecting the rotation tool. Hold the option key down again so we get our little symbol here and then when we hover over our anchor, anchor excuse me, we're going to click up the dialog window for rotate. Now we're going to double the 12 to 24 because we move that 12. We want the whole thing to move 24 so we have like a blank slice. There we have it. Now what we're going to do is Command C for paste in front, Command uh, Command C for copy, Command F for paste in front, and then we're going to do a Command D for duplicate. And now we're just going to do Command C, Command F, Command D, C, F, D, C, F, D. Just keep rotating that around. I'm holding the Command key and then doing C, F, and D. C, F, and D. Now if I do it one more time, C, F, and D, it's right on top of it. So that made a perfect rotation. So now we will select all of these. Let's get that so that has no fill of white there. Select those, deselect our path. We have all of our little pie slices here. And we are going to go up under Object. And we're going to do Compound Path Make. And then now, when we fill this with like a gradient, it affects the whole thing. Here, we'll put it on linear and you'll be able to tell a little bit of you. See, it's affecting all of them. Where if we would have not had those on a compound path. It affects each one kind of individually. See we got the blue to purple, blue to purple, blue to purple. It's kind of messing it up. So compound path. Go to radial and then we can close that up. And now if we fill our background box with blue, get rid of the stroke. That makes kind of a nice little radial stripe pattern.
Another neat thing we can do with this now is take this and go up under Effect and Warp. We're going to do Twist down here at the bottom. I'm just going to hit OK. And then I'm going to take my blue box here in the background. There we go. Copy, paste in front, bring it all the way to the front. Select our radial stripes. And now I'm going to create a mask, which is under Object, Clipping Mask, Make. Now we have a neat little spiral, radial, and twisted blend. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.